when it comes to Final Cut, one subject seems to come up time and time again. Should I leave files in place or import media to library in Final Cut Pro X? Listen bro, yeah? Listen, listen, if you're using Final Cut, you absolutely must be leaving the files in place. Le of course, when editing in Final Cut Pro, one must always import to library. It is the only way. Oh, if you're way. editing in Final Cut, then absolutely just leave the files in place, mate. It saves so much space, honestly. Uh, so much space. Just use Premiere, it's loads better than Final Cut. Yeah, I love Premiere. It's so much better than Final Cut. Did I mention that? As a professional editor, I only use Avid for editing. Okay, so obviously that is a fairly extreme example and, you know, just a bit of fun to emphasise the point. But there does seem to be this raging war on the internet about Final Cut editors and whether you should leave your files in place or whether you should import to library. And a lot of what I see is really misleading and just not right. So in this video I want to sort of talk to you about my understanding of why Final Cut gives you both those options and when you might want to leave the files in place or import to media. And the biggest thing that I see is that it saves space and I just don't think that's the case. So you might be thinking, what are you talking about Will? So before we start let's just kind of define what it is, right? So when you're editing in Final Cut Pro, you've got some options. You can leave the files in place. So first of all, let's talk about what this actually is, what it what it means, right? So leave files in place, for example, the first option. If you leave files in place, so you tick the option in the settings in Final Cut so that you're leaving your files in place, what it means is when you drag footage into Final Cut, Final Cut will link directly to the footage wherever it happens to be. So you might have it on your desktop, on an SD card, on an external drive, wherever it is, it doesn't move the footage. All it does is it kind of links to that footage and says okay I know where that footage is and I'm going to use that when you're editing right versus if you import to library then what Final Cut does when you drag some footage into it is it creates a copy of that file within the library and it links to that version of the clip so then you end up having the version that you've imported on a hard drive for example and the version which is in the library and you can delete the version off the hard drive the library will be fine because it's got its own copy of it right so that's the difference between importing to library and leaving files in place so why would you want to do either one of these options so first of all the biggest thing that I see online is people saying you can save loads of space if you leave files in place which just isn't really accurate right so let me give you a quick scenario you get home from a shoot you put your SD card in your card reader and you copy all of your footage onto an external hard drive right let's say you've got a hundred gig of footage and you put that hundred gig of footage on an external hard drive right then you create your final cut library and you drag that 100 gig into Final Cut, right? You with me? And now, if you're importing to library, you've now got 200 gig of footage. So you are taking up more space, right? So the argument goes that if I leave those files in place, then now I'm back to only having 100 gig of footage. Great, perfect. However, you haven't got a backup you've just got that one version of the clip. Now to me, it seems insane that, you know, maybe for a personal project it doesn't matter, but if it's client work that you're doing, it seems mad to me that you wouldn't have a backup. So to me, importing to library in that instance is giving you like a built-in backup, basically. You put the footage on a hard drive and then you edit and keep it in library. And if that happens to be on a different hard drive, then you're even more protected because you've got a backup. However, that's not what we're talking about here, right? So on paper, in theory, top level, if you leave in place, that saves you space. However, when you leave the files in place, it gives you this file relationship that you then need to manage. You might look at some files and some, see some old video clips and think, oh, I'm not using them. You delete them, and then a few months later, you open that Final Cut library and eh, 
it you realize that they were actually clips that were used in that library and they're not there anymore if you're importing to library then that just isn't a problem final cut manages it and if you're worried about space then when you get home from the shoot and you put your sd card in your card reader you can import that directly into final cut so then it doesn't save you space you've got your 100 gig of footage and you literally take it from the sd card or whatever media you're using take it from the sd card and then import it directly into the library so you've still only got 100 gig if you've shot 100 gig of footage you have got 100 gig of footage whichever way you choose to work right so and then if you want to have a backup of that said footage then you can leave it in place but then really for good practice you want to be duplicating it and putting it somewhere else so then you've got 200 gig of footage and if you import to library and use that as kind of like an integrated way to back up your footage then that's 200 gig of footage so either way if you leave in place or import to library then <laughs> you've still got the same amount of footage. And I just think there's so many people online that are very quick to say, no, leave files in place and you'll save yourself a massive headache and you'll save yourself loads of space. Now, if you haven't already worked out, I'm a fan of importing the media into the library. I like this because it means I can drag footage from anywhere during a project. I might be working on multiple hard drives, importing from multiple cameras. I can get it all into the library and I know that in that library I've got a single source of truth. That is all of the footage. And I know that when it comes to archiving that library, I can put that, I can move that archive move that library onto a different external hard drive, put it in a drawer, and I know that that library contains all of the assets that are required for that project to work and to operate, right? So that's that's my preferred way of working. Now, if I'm doing a project that's super sensitive, client work, for example, then I import all of the footage off the cameras onto an external hard drive, and then I import from that external hard drive into my library which is on a different external hard drive. So that gives me a backup copy once I've imported it from the cards, from the cameras. I don't really touch that copy. I work on the separate hard drive with the library on it, which has got all of the media in it. And then when I'm finished with the project, I can delete everything except my library and I know that that then becomes the backup of the project but if something goes wrong during the project if something gets corrupted or whatever or that hard drive dies i know i've got all of the original media on the other hard drive now this kind of just leave files in place that everyone says that doesn't give you that luxury you're you, you've got that one copy you're working from that copy so of course there are instances when leaving the files in place will be the best approach for you. I'm not saying it's completely redundant by any sense. I'm just saying that it doesn't necessarily save you space. You have to understand your workflow and how you want to manage the media that's involved in whatever project you're working on in order to work out which is the best approach. So for example, a great time to leave files in place would be if you are working collaboratively, if you've got multiple streams multiple people working on the same project then obviously it makes sense to have all of the media in one place and if changes are made to that structure then it ripples across all of the projects it's also you know a bit risky doing this it, ca it carries overheads and you have to have a really good workflow in place to do that but yes definitely if there's multiple people working from the same pool of footage and media then it can make sense to leave the files in place also if you're working this is kind of an extension of that scenario if you have your media on a network drive for example then it does mean that that remains there as like the master for the footage um, so that is a great way of managing if you've got multiple people perhaps working over a network then leaving the files in place is a good way however it does become quite fragile because someone else could delete something which you're using in your library and they wouldn't necessarily know that you're using it so even in that instance i'm unsure and i think a lot of the discussion online about the way that Final Cut manages its media comes from people who are used to working with different um, 
programs like Premiere, for example. Premiere uses a structure much more like leave files in place. So I think people have just got very ingrained in working in that way. And actually the flexibility that Final Cut gives you to make choices and do things in a different way I think are really great. I mean, I love the fact that all my stuff goes in one library. I know it's all there. I know that it's safe. I don't have to worry about if I'm deleting something or moving something and then therefore breaking the relationship that I've created. And obviously when you're working on multiple projects and you know maybe you close a library and you come back to it six months later, I can't remember you know, I can't always make sense of my own organization six months later, so it's not clear. Whereas if you're importing to the library, then it just seems so straightforward to me. It's in the library. It's safe there. So I don't know if I've maybe got a little bit rambly at this point. So just to summarize, if you want to save storage, then leaving the files in place doesn't necessarily save you any storage you have to make an active decision to you can either leave the files in place or if you import directly from camera to final cut then actually importing media to library saves you just as much space right um it's the same thing the the second thing is please consider your backup process and how you want to back up the footage that you're working with because whether and this goes for either approach if you're leaving in place or importing to library you know it, it Either way, you really do want to have a duplicate of your footage just in case something goes wrong. So again, leaving in place does not save you space. If you've got 100 gig of footage and a backup of that footage, then you've still got 200 gig of footage. And same, if you're importing to library, you've got 100 gig of footage imported to library, you want to have that same 100 gig of footage somewhere else for safekeeping and for backup. It's just what you prefer. And as I say, if you are... If you're leaving in place, then you're just creating a relationship that you have to manage between the footage and the library. Whereas if you import to library, then it's all in the library and you don't have to worry about it. So for me, again, that's that's where I come down. So, sorry, to summarize, organization, if you import to library, then you can do much more organization with the footage than if you leave it in place. Um, you can use smart collections and you can create subfolders and keyword collections and that sort of stuff, which is really helpful. So I really like that. And the consolidation piece, which I've kind of already touched on. If it's in the library, it's all there. It's all consolidated. It's all in one place and you don't have to worry about it. Whereas if you're leaving the files in place, then they could be anywhere. You could be dragging something from your desktop, something from a hard drive, something from the internal hard drive. And then when you close that library, suddenly you don't know so if you are going to leave your files in place then you want to keep this structure you want to kind of create a structure on a hard drive for a project make sure any media that you're going to use in the project goes in this kind of project folder and is organized on the hard drive so i feel like this video has got a little bit rambly at this point um so i'm probably going to leave it there but yeah import to library or leave in place it really doesn't make a big difference to the storage of your media but it does make a difference in the workflow that you adopt and it does make a difference to how you plan to back up your projects and your media and footage in the long run my personal preference for my projects is to import into the library and if it's a client project, then I put all of the footage on a hard drive, import to, a, to the separate hard drive, work on it. So I've now got two copies of everything. And then when the project is complete, I delete the original media and I just keep the library, which has got a copy of everything within it. That's how I work. If I'm doing a YouTube video like today, for example, then I'm a little bit more gung-ho with my approach. I take my SD cards out of my camera and I import directly into the Final Cut Pro library. So I've just got one copy of the footage. I don't back it up. These videos are obviously quick turnaround and I get them out and on the internet. So I'm not so worried, but obviously one day I'll probably have a, a drive go on me or something and I'll be kicking myself for that approach. But each to their own, you know, you've just got to do what you think Think is best for your projects but for me I love importing to library 
and managing the overhead of that storage because for me it kind of builds in that redundancy a little bit and makes me feel better about it so yes the age-old question should you import to library or leave in place the answer is it, it depends and that's the point of this video really it really does depend on your workflow and if there's one takeaway you can take from this video it is um, know your workflow think about your workflow decide how you want to work how you want to back things up and how you're going to process footage as you go through a project and then make the decision accordingly and I don't think it matters I just see so many people who are you know so set on one particular approach or so set on the other and I just think no it's not quite as black and white as that so that is import to library or leave in place i hope you found that helpful thanks for watching and i'll see you next time